is for you. Pini Pini 9, Emmanuel Castro. Obstini Law and Laguna, right? And our next lady has a chance to bring home the crown. And she is... Binibining seven, Cal Kagan of Paita Laguna. It's your lucky night, Binibini number. Number 12, Via Garcia Santa Rosa. Our fourth spot belongs to Bini Bini 22, Mario Lucy Danko from Kabuyo City. And the last spot is for you, Bini Bini number. With the gesture of our ladies, they're so they're showing really solidarity. And uh, Bini Bini number seven, I guess, is crying for joy. Congratulations once again, Bini Bini nine, Emmanuel Castro. Bini Bini seven, Cal Kagan. Bini Bini number twelve, Fia Garcia. Number twenty-two is Marlo Sitanko. And number twenty, Sofia Nicole Arcangel. Oh wow! All right, and we go to our last segment, which is the final, the final question, question and answer, answer round. Once and again, our candidates will pick a name of our judge, and of course, uh huh, uh huh, ang mga judge ang magtatanong sa ating mga candidates. Right. Uh, sorry. And of course, uh, our our criteria reverts again to zero, but this time, 60% beauty and 40% intelligence. Oh, interesting criteria, huh? No, the, a while ago it was 50-50, uh -huh. this time it's 60-40. 60, 60, 60 for beauty and 40% for intelligence. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ladies, congratulations. One of you will bring home a whopping amount of 30,000 pesos and of course, bring home the crown. Let us call on once again, Carlo. Para sa mga pangalan ng ating judges. Good luck again uh, and congratulations, uh, Miss Sinilaan, right? And you have picked... Sir Dan Matuginas. Hello, uh, number nine. Hi, how, sir. How are you feeling right now? Okay, I can't believe it. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. So, here's my question. Um, House Bill number 4982, an act prohibiting discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity or expression and providing penalties, therefore, or known as SOGI Bill, if you are to change the name of this anti-discrimination bill, what will it be and why? Thank you so much for that wonderful question. You know what? If you were going to change something with a law, I think it will be very, very difficult because you're going to have to start on the very beginning. So I guess changing something or the name of it shouldn't be necessary. We should have a new law pop up to it and that will be um, it is about the um it's about equality and about um giving the right um opportunities for um lgbtq communities because you know what 
we gays are not given the right um, opportunities when we are applying to some jobs. We are not accepted by the way how we look. Because you know what? Many people are asking, what do you think gays are the um, rights? Do you think that gays have the power to apply to something or to be maybe um, part of the election or serve the community? You know what? But to answer that question, we, the sovereign Filipino people, imploring the aid and mind of our almighty God to build a just and humane society is the first thing that you will see at the preamble constitution of the Philippines. It can stand as a law of its own in our nation. And that is one of the things that I have remembered when I was in the university. Let us always remember that our power is the most magical thing in this world. That crown is a platform. I will step on it and make a change. Thank you. Thank you very much. Number nine. Thank you very much. And now we go to beating number seven, Carl Kagan from Paite. Carlo? And Kyla, mm -hmm. you have picked P.S. Renan Reduta. Good morning, Binibini Good morning. 7. Tourism is one of the vital elements in economic growth, given its importance in one's community. If given a chance to win and be crowned tonight as an ambassador of beauty, how will you promote the tourist attraction in the province of Laguna? Again, sir, can you please? Okay, my question. Tourism is one of the vital elements in economic growth. Given its importance in one's community, if given a chance to win and be crowned tonight as one of the ambassadors of beauty, how will you promote the tourist spots or attraction in the province of Laguna? Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, to start and to simply answer the question, I would like to start by saying the province of Laguna is one of the richest provinces in the whole Philippines. And that is something that we should be thankful for. Now the question is how can I, how can I promote the tourism of Laguna by first setting, setting foot in front of so many people around the whole Philippines, because I know that standing here in front of you is the best example of how beautiful the province of Laguna is. And the last thing that I will do to promote the province of Laguna is by saying, Laguna is not just Laguna. Because Laguna is the most powerful province, not just in Calabasan, but also in the whole Philippines. And standing here in front of you is one of the powerful creations of Laguna. Thank you. Thank you very much. Number seven, Kyla Kagin of Paite. And now we go to BDBD number 12, Pia Garcia of... Pia Garcia is from... Number 12 is from Santa Rosa. They're putting him on the spot, sir. You have picked SK President Carl Anthony Puno. Hello, good morning. Uh, here is your question. Uh, what do you think the government can do to improvise the stand of living of the average individuals in the society? I repeat, what do you think the government can do to improvise the standard of living of the average individuals in the society. Okay. Thank you so much, sir, for that wonderful question. Let me answer the question straight, direct to the point comes from my heart. I think the government should do is to have a equal, equal, I mean, equal, equality. Why did I say so? Dahil tandaan po natin lahat. 
na kung ang gobyerno ay magkakaroon ng pantay-pantay na tingin sa mayaman at mahirap, mababawasan po ang tinatawag nating mahirap. Dahil bakit po? Dahil lahat ay mabibigyan ng proteksyon, lahat mabibigyan ng pantay-pantay na batas, lahat mabibigyan ng pantay-pantay na pangingitangan. Dahil lagi po nating tandaan na sa ganito po na namumuhay tayo dito sa ating mundo, hindi po natin maiiwasan yung tinatawag nating ang, ang mayaman na mahirap. Hindi natin maitatago at makakailayan. Kaya't naniniwala po ako na kung ang gobyerno ay magkakaroon ng salitang ekwalidad, tayong lahat po ay aasenso sabay-sabay. Maraming salamat po. Maraming salamat, Bini Bini 12. Garcia of Santa Rosa, Laguna. Yeah. Diba, ang hihirap ng tanong, ano, pang mga pang-UP. Talagang sisian talaga. <laughs> And now, we go to binibining number 22, Marlo Sitanko from Cabuyao City. I remember, all the way from Cabuyao. I do. <laughs> And Carlo? And you have picked... Miss Jervy Stanislaw. Hi. Hello, Paul. This is your question. This is just simple. If you will add one word in our dictionary, what word would that be and why? Okay. It should be LGBT. For you to know that LGBT community is worth of being living here in this world because whether you be a man, a straight woman, or part of the LGBT community, as long as your heart is pure, you can definitely live in this world. Because no one is about above anyone. It is about what you think and what you can contribute to the community to make it a better place. Thank you. Thank you very much. Binibining number 22 from Cabuyao City. Because I guess LGBT is not a word yet. It's an abbreviation, right? Right, sir? right. Uh, and the dictionary accepts abbreviations, right? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, and finally, our last... But not the least is binibining number 20, Sophia Nicole Arcangel from Calayaan, Laguna. Yes. Carla. And you have picked. I believe yung kanyang sinagot kayo, di ba? Yung tanong din siya niyo na yung about graft and corruption and the causes and effects. Yes. All right. This is... Judge Kirsten Kate Saboy. Good morning, Binibini 20. Good morning. Here's your question. The moment that you were born, you have possessed an ability that with all your heart, would you let others hear what you say? Give one word that you want to convey that everyone should hear and why. Can you repeat the question, please, ma'am? The moment that you were born, you have possessed an ability that, with all your heart, would you let others hear what you say? Give one word that you want to convey that everyone should hear and why. Well, the one word that I want to give to other person for me, for them to understand what I feel, is that love. Why? When I was born, I, I was born because of the love of my parents. My mother and my father w w love each other so much that was that, that's why I was born in this world. I want it to convey and give to other people for us to spread love and peace, especially that in our current issues, the Ukraine and Russia was having war. If I was there and I was given a chance to give opinions or speech to them, I would just spread. I would just say to spread love and not war. 
I believe that in this time of the pandemic, we, it is not necessary for us to have war, but we should just spread love because love is the most unconditional thing in this world and God sacrificed himself because of love. Thank you. And that completes our question. Laguna 2022. Our fourth runner-up will bring home 5,000 pesos. Our third runner-up will receive 10,000 pesos. Our second runner-up will bring home 15,000 pesos. Our first runner-up will receive 20,000 pesos. And our first ever Binibining Ikatlong Lahi ng Laguna 2022 will bring home a whopping amount of 30,000 pesos plus the crown and the fame of being our first ever beauty queen here. Direct Janga, thank you very much as well. Yeah, thank, salamat, Janga. yeah Janga has already lost her voice, <laughs> but thank you so much. That's, that's the way it is to be a director. And of course, thank you to our panel of judges. Of course, thank you very much. Organizers, handlers, makeup artists, fashion designers, everyone, and of course, all the people involved. Uh -huh. Supporters! Number one candidates, of course. Yes. Maraming, maraming salamat, Ma'am April. Thank you very much. Who do, do you think is our winner for tonight? Yes. Uh, I, would, I would like to thank... I would like to thank uh, SK Sid Anas at Consul Freddy Chudoro. Kasi kung uh, wala sila siya kumakasama, di ba? At siya kay Mayora Muramatsu, nagpahiram na kanyang Innova. I'd like to say thank you uh, to uh, my cousins and uh, my brother, Sir Van Nadado and yes, Jai. Sir Gio, Ma uh, Jonna, Jella, si uh, Grenz, Vincent Doren, of course. Thank you. Ati Jaya. At doon sa nag-makeup sa atin kanina, si JB. JB, um, thank you very much. Buena Seda. And of course, uh, I Iwame think Pasto. si Lobby Po Arcangel, yung last ko nag... Uh -huh. At si Iwame takes a vest. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. And of course, PWU is still validating the final results. Dr. Casey and Tupur, thank you very much as well. Results from PWU, our official tabulator for tonight. Thank you very much. Fourth runner up will receive 5,000 pesos. Presenting the award, we have Miss Jov Ramomblas, Ramomblas from the Office of Honorable Sol Aragones and Miss Jarby Estanislao. Winner 
as the fourth runner-up of Binibining Ikatlong Lai ng Laguna 2022. You are Binibining number seven, Cal Kagin of Paite Laguna. Is our third runner up. Our third runner up will receive 10,000 pesos. Presenting the award, we have Miss JM Razon. It's We Evalue You, top distributor, advocate, Chance Club General, JCI Makati Princess Urdua, business director. And also Mrs. Universe 2021. And she is still wearing her crown. But the crown is yours. Third runner up, Binibining Ikatlong Lahi ng Laguna 2022. Number 12, Fia Garcia of Santa Rosa. Our second runner-up of Binibining Ikatlong Lahi ng Laguna 2022. Presenting an award, we have Mr. Renan Reduta, Ms. Christine Cade, and Mr. Dan Matuginas. And our second runner-up will receive 15,000 pesos. First, we are going to announce our first runner-up. Only two last ladies are standing. As they say, the role of first runner-up is very important. If in any case, our title holder will not fulfill her duties and responsibilities, our first runner-up will take over. All right. And our Binibining Ikatlong Lahi ng Laguna 2022 First runner-up is... Mm -hmm. Presenting the award, hold on for a while. Let us call on Clifford Levy Tangkol, RV Dakia, and of course, Pinipining Laren May Bautista. Our first runner-up is... Binibining number 20, Sofia Nicole Arcangel of Calayan Laguna and... 
Thank you, uh, Mayor Toto Trinidad, and of course, the Executive Assistant at sa buong bayan ng pagsanghan. Thank you for your hospitality of hosting our this year's Binibining Ikatlong Lahi ng Laguna 2022.